I expected budget 2024 to be one that would have catered for the ordinary citizens of Guyana because over the years of the People's Progressive Party, we saw constant, uh, a constant raise in cost of living that really had a tremendous effect on the ordinary and vulnerable people. So my expectation was that we would have seen the vulnerable benefit significantly from budget 2024. Unfortunately, that is not so. It is most shameful that our old age pension was just increased by $3,000, uh, our public assistance by just $3,000 in a trillion dollars budget. And what I, what I, what came to mind was when I did that comparison about where the coalition took humanitarian approach in budgets over a five-year period in comparison to the PPP's five-year period. It was really a failure from the People's Progressive Party. Look at minimum wage, for example. Over the five years period of the AP and UAFC, we increased minimum wage to, uh, we increased it by $30,000 over that five years period. Our budgets were, it began at $230 billion and it ended at $300 billion. And we managed to give a $30,000 minimum wage increase. The People's Progressive Party for their equivalent five budgets, and this one being a trillion plus dollars, they have only increased within that five budget period by $15,000. So clearly they have no consideration for the ordinary man. Clearly they do not want to make the ordinary man feel real and empowered. And it is only for their friends, families, and favorites. For the ministry that I shadow at this parliamentary level, I took a quick scan through of the numbers and I do not see that there is any program that will help in making communities more sustainable, making communities more friendly, making people's lives more comfortable in this trillion dollars budget. And I believe that the focus of the Ministry of Local Government and Regional Development should have been one that catered for sustainable communities and making the lives of people more comfortable. For me, this budget was a total failure from what we expected. Uh, everybody were glued to their television sets, hoping that they would have heard something that could have benefited them, the ordinary people. And the sad reality is that we have a budget that is in place here only to benefit friends, families, and favorites of the People's Progressive Party.